Hey everybody, Crimson Prime 37 here with a ridiculous unboxing. This is a extreme episode of Robots in My Mailbox, and believe it or not, this is only half of what's coming in. I just uh, decided to make this video because I might be on vacation when the rest of it comes. So, hello, we're going to start here with the one thing I already opened that I needed to open real quick is the... San Diego Comic Con uh, Terracon Cliff Jumper. It is um, probably my favorite Prime toy right now because I, I mean I rushed to open this. It was great. Um, here's the packaging real quick, just because it's already open. I'm not going to open everything, but just real quick. That's the actual package that c it comes in. And uh, yeah, I'll open it. I already have it on my shelf, but. That package is like a display piece all on its own. And uh, that's just the first thing. We're going to dive right into this because I don't want to take up a lot of time. Um, like I said, I have a lot, like at least five more boxes coming in. That um, is all stuff that... I, I went on a Transformer kick. I'm not going to lie. Uh... I wanted to complete some stuff. Oh, this ain't going back in the box that easy. Alright, there we go. And, uh, most of the stuff I got is Transformers, so if you're expecting Gundam, I'm sorry, but we'll just grab a box real quick. Here's the first box. This is, uh, this was an Amazon purchase. This was a, an impulse buy. This is the Transformers Prime Breakdown. I had to get it after watching a couple of reviews on it. Um, I needed to buy it, and uh, once I found out that they weren't going to have this mold in America, after that interview at SDC um, San Diego Con, where they basically said the mold's out there, but there's no intentions of it coming to America. So this and the Swerve are probably going to be the only two Japanese primes I purchase other than regular, the regular uh, Arms Micron Deluxe guys. So there's that. Um, let's grab another box. Ha! Here we go. Two Arms Micron guys. Um, I got tired of searching for these guys and the Jet Viacon. So I basically just bought the Arms Micron for an extra 12 bucks shipped. I wasn't paying $30 for the American version, so I bought the Arms Micron Viacon Jet and the regular Viacon. I got the Nifty um, Arms Microns and I only paid like an extra 13 bucks and that's pretty much the same markup as the Americans want now for, for the American one to find it which is ridiculous so for the same exact price I mean I paid 50 bucks for both of those and that was free shipping I found a nice eBay auction it was like 54.99 free shipping so uh. Here we go, next box. This is from Toy Arena. I ended up buying the Arachnid only because I got tired of looking for the American version. And once again, for this was only $30, which is what they're asking, which is a ridiculous aftermarket price for the American version. So I bought this for $30 with free shipping. And um, I get the cool arms micron guy, and I get to apply my stickers, which is a plus. Um, and there you go. Got that. I pretty much think that was a decent buy. And then what else we got? Ah, Big Bad Toy Store box. I won their. I, I won a Facebook contest from Big Bad Toy Store, so I had fifty dollars store credit. Yeah. And uh, they had this on clearance for nine dollars. I didn't have it yet. So for nine bucks, I bought the Voyager Class American uh, Optimus Prime. It was nine dollars, so why not? And then I bought these guys, the Fans Project Casualty Insecticons, and they only had the two in stock. They had Storm Bomb and Backfiry, and I think the other guy was uh, uh what was his name? I don't remember the, what they named him, but. I, uh, since I bought these two, I basically said, all right, I gotta find a, um, an eBay auction that has the third one I needed, and I did. I found it for buy now, thirty-four dollars, free shipping. But 
that's not here yet. That's something that's probably not going to come because it was coming from China, so it'll take forever. And here's the last box, which is from Tatsu Hobby. And it is the Master Grade Barnaby Brooks Jr. Um, figurized. I got the uh, Wild Tiger, so why not finish it with the Barney? And uh, let me see this one right here. Open it up for you guys. Some gold pieces in there. Nice. All right. Well, I'm gonna start this today. I don't know. I'll, I'm not gonna. I don't know if I'll do a an unboxing or not. But okay. So let's recap this haul. So, let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Transformers that were a must-buy. Oh, let me see if I can get this back. Hold on, sorry. Missing one here. Alright. There you go. All right, and that's that's probably the biggest unboxing I've done. I was trying to wait for the rest, so I would have to have like this, you know, huge ten-minute unboxing video. But um, yeah, the only I got other stuff coming, and in case it's two lots I bought of uh, stuff, and then what else do I have? I have something coming from AceToyStore.com, which is a Transformer add-on. I bought some Dr. Wu stuff for some stuff, and then um, I'm probably going to make a, re a big retro label order when I get back from vacation, because I plan to get the retro labels for the Casualty Insecticons, and um, a couple of my Prime figures, I, I love the retro labels that they did for uh, the breakdown and stuff. So that's it, the retro labels for the rest of the Prime, the Arms Microns, I don't need because they have enough stickers for them, which is pretty great. And uh, the little Arms Micron guys are awesome, like, right here, the black arachnid. I mean, I got a little, like, weird, like, beetle slash fang weapon that comes with my, black, my arachnid. Which, to be honest, looks way cooler than the American version, so I don't mind spending an extra 12 bucks for the Japanese version. And I suggest you guys do the same thing, too, because... Honestly, the markup for the American version is worthless, in my opinion. So, but if you're a completist and you gotta have the American version, fine. And you, to each his own. All right, guys, this is my quick unboxing. Um, all right, thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next video.